Good to be here and you guys not boo me. So. Absolutely. That's a, a six point um, outing is tough. Um, any way you cut it in the National Football League. Uh, and I thought, you know, I've been really, really proud of them uh, specifically in the last three weeks. I thought that down the stretch when we needed them most, they've really come through. So, um, yeah, I, I can't say enough about that effort uh, when, when this team needed it. You've been through a lot, but now to get into the playoffs despite all that, how does it feel? Um, well, I, I would say it feels tremendous. That doesn't mean that that wasn't the goal is just to get to the playoffs. However, um, understanding, uh, you know, all involved. You're talking about people that have been within the organization for 30 plus years. You talk about um, a, a fan base that hasn't seen their team go to the playoffs since 2016. Um, you just talk about a lot of people involved. Uh, it's it. I, it's very fulfilling for um, the way it happened. You know, I feel like uh, guys were very energized about their output during the season, um, right around the bye week and right after that, and then to take five losses in a row, um, specifically the, the, the last three, um, where I thought that, you know, we, we really – had a chance to win, um, a, a, a phase was off at one way, shape, or form. And for guys not to quit, because it is so much easier to quit. Um, very, very proud to, you know, be called the head coach of this team. The, you know, the, the it, and it wasn't just about the players that were playing in the game today. This was, um, this was an accumulated effort um, you can go down the line of uh, all, all the injured players that weren't able to play had an effect on this game and the, our ability to get to the playoffs, um, which is what you want for your organization, you know, for you to ultimately finish the season the right way. You have to get into the tournament and see um, and put your best foot forward. Uh, so very, very happy about the defense, very happy about – um, the offense, I mean, shoot, I think we've gone – how many tackles have we played? Um, where's, where's Barry when you need him? Um, but I feel like it's like seven. Um, that was, you know, Skylar Thompson, a rookie, um, gets a start, doesn't turn the ball over, heavily, heavily um, influenced and, and assisted by his position coach his position coaches, Coach Bevel and Coach Henley, but also Teddy Bridgewater and, and Tua are humongous. Imp the, they've had a huge impact in how he's approached the game. And I know he's very, um, you know, that doesn't happen without them. Uh, you can go down the line. Um, you know, we had, uh, I think, the last quarter of the game, we had a guard playing tackle. Um, and then defensively, uh, for for them not to give up a touchdown was absolutely critical. And then how about, you know, you can almost surmise the whole season, uh, you know, which I think it, this is life. This is what a football season is. Hopefully it's not as extreme as five on, five off. Um, but Jason Sanders, you know, um, to, to come through the way he did and have all the points, especially that last one, um, you know, you have to be built different for that. So uh, I, I, I'm very, very happy with the entire locker room, the entire building, and I feel um, they, they wanted no part of the season being over, and it's not. So now they get another opportunity to play together, which they um, really ho hold dear to their heart, and I think it, that goes to show um, by the way that they've really put their best foot forward through some games that haven't turned out the way you'd want them to. I know that on the road, you said you didn't want to pay any attention to the squad.
score of the Bills Patriots game, and the video board didn't show the score. But at the end, when your game was over, were you able to kind of take a glance and when you when it finally hit in that that outcome was what you needed? How to um, there was a couple people on right after I shook hands with some of the Jets coaches that I know too well. Um, so I didn't know any sort of score because that was the objective. I, I, I didn't. We needed to win, and regardless, nothing mattered if we didn't. Um, and then I saw Ann Nolan. Um, she's. T get, I've never played her, but she's probably terrible at poker. She had. She had a grin. And I was like, oh, okay. And then we. Um, we had. The game was on in the locker room, so um, guys were able to see that it was a two-score lead. And, and guys were able to see that it was a kneel down. Um, so we, that it, it's to everyone's credit, you know, you don't want it to always be this hard within the game or, or within the season. Um, but at the same time, for you to do anything special, you have to go through adversity. Um, you have to learn from it and you have to improve. And, you know, the bottom line was we, the last two games specifically, um, the the team did enough to win and, and then critical mistakes which we weren't void of but critical turnovers in the second half had had led to our demise today that wasn't the case um you know and, and uh it was team football that was uh was really a a, a field position matchup there was a, a lot of runs um, not as many explosives, and guys really had to dig deep. So, but very happy with the outcome. Where of your usual post game, how you leave the field, but you went running off today. Was that to watch the game, the end of the game, or was that just? No, it was, uh, I've I pulled that card a couple times. It's my move when I'm really excited, so I don't know what else to do, but I just run. It's the only running I get it all season. So. Um, it's happened a couple times, but it's just because I'm fired up and want to go sit down and try to take in, because I, I literally don't take in anything that's happened the entire game. So it's like, you know, and then I'd like to run into the room and be like, yes, get a couple high fives. I got a bruised finger from high five and something. Um, so that, that was really all that was, is just a, uh, Dissipate energy, I guess. What, was it like? what would the process be with Tua this week? And, and where is Teddy in terms of his status? Um, we have a lot of question marks. Uh, I left the, uh, the, the Tua question last Friday. He'll have another day. Um, we'll continue to take it day by day, and I will not even think about um, any sort of game, whether that's this year or next year, until he's fully fully ready to do so, and that comes with medical clearance. That's um, why the procedure is in place. So I haven't even thought about that, um, ready for either quarterback um, uh, against the Bills. Um, th there's a lot of things uh, that have to, we have to get through the training room first. The, you know, I th Teddy was battling to be available, and we think that he was in a spot that he could have come through in an emergency situation. Um, and Skyler got, you know, got twisted up a couple times too. So I have to see how all that shapes out. Um, but yeah, there'll be uh, some question marks, but fortunately this team um, has proven not to blink in any sort of question marks either way. We have um, guys that we really believe in and we'll, we'll, we'll go with the healthiest group. Um, up to Buffalo and uh, and uh, play a very good football team. You you need obviously to to get him through the protocol too well before you even consider it. Do you need a full week of practice out of him coming off of that long layoff? Uh, again, I I'm pretty disciplined. Once it once it was articulated to me that it doesn't help to a, in any way, sh shape, or form if I project any sort of things. Besides, hey, what are we doing today, and are we getting better today? Um, I won't. I, I haven't even thought about it. I, I just want him to take everything day by day, and when um, we'll, we'll assess everything when when he's uh, fully cleared, when whenever that is. But I'm not worried about timelines or 
you know, it's a, saying yes or no to the postseason is, is an, another added layer of anxiety. Either way, whatever I say. So um, I'm not in the business of that. I'm going to do what's best for that player. So we'll, we'll see each and every day. Um, it's not because I like keeping people in suspense. It's because it's the best thing for the human being. You had your first successful challenge of the season. How did it feel to finally get it? <laughs> um, I was actually saying that on the headset. I'm like, because I was very aware of that. Um, but I was, I had a feeling. I was like, you know what? Um, how fitting would this be if I finally get one right? Um, and it's the 18th week, 17th game, fourth quarter. So, um, you know, I, I, I just... You know, like the rest of the locker room, you know, I just was battle tested, you know, tried to learn from my mistakes. But it was uh, it was nice that it ended up being a big, big uh, turning point. And so credit goes to all the people communicating with me um, and provoking me to to not have a long memory on all these failed attempts, which I had won that half as well. So get a t chance to talk to him at all after after this game and, and see his reaction for this yeah no he was um uh he was in the, in the locker room waiting for his teammates and he was just all smiles um you know because this is uh you know his his team that he this is the first game we were able to pull off without him um and he you know he he was just happy for his teammates and happy for himself because you know, like I said, that everybody that's a part of, that's what's so cool about team sports is it's not, okay, this person got us to the playoffs, that person, I mean, shoot, this, he's, uh, he's led us to where we're at to, to the point that we've had two games um, down the stretch of the season that if we win one, we could possibly make the play postseason. That's to his credit. Um, and uh, so he was, he was very happy and um, shaking hands and uh, and just being there for his teammates. Skyler a lot. Hmm? Has he been talking to Skyler a lot? No, icing him out. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Tua's a great guy. Skyler's a great guy. They have great guy conversations. What was it like sharing that moment with Steve Ross after the game? The guy who brought you here. No, it's it's really cool. I I, I I'm not one to feel entitled to anything. Um, I'm. Also, you know, my, my walks of life have kind of led me to, uh, you know, I have an infinite memory of any, any, any time someone takes a chance on me. I'm very loyal to that. Um, so it, it, was, it was very, I know how many um, other teams were interviewing me. Um, so do you guys. The answer is zero. Um, and he, he felt his gut. Um, that it, that didn't matter, that this was the right fit for everything uh, that we're trying to do here. And I'll forever be loyal to that. And I, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd really feel like, uh, you know, over time, people will truly realize what type, what type of unbelievable owner he, he is. And he's, he's uh, just been 100% supportive. So I was very happy to sh share that with him. And, and then, you know, the president Tom Garfinkel and um, Chris Greer and Brandon Shore, um, it, it, all those guys, I I feel indebted to. So I, I we're we're not nearly done by any stretch of it, um, but you know the, to get um, to continue to progress with your goals, you have to get goal one. So to be in the tournament um, was the uh, something that. Uh, I feel like I would have felt sh I've shortchanged the team, um, the players, and the organization if we weren't able to do it, and we found a way. So um, I'm very happy about that part. Mike, how do you sum up those emotions that you felt once it was over when the clock hit zeros and you guys found out also that Buffalo had beaten New England? Uh, I, I still haven't. You get uh, terrible versions of me in post-game press conferences. I, I'm trying to keep the integrity of every decision that I make during the course of a game. So I can't spend any time having emotion on anything that happens. 
And in that process, um, you get to the end of the game, and it's like, all right, you, you've done that for three and a half hours. What's next? Okay, now I need to go talk to the team. Then I need to come in here and talk to you guys. I'm not sure if it's really um, – long story short, I, I'm a terrible – podium guy because I don't really know how I feel. I'll probably figure that out um, later tonight. Um, but I know one thing, I will be excited tomorrow um, to come to work and begin the game planning process again because I was not ready um, for that to uh, be discontinued for this season. So, And I think a lot of guys um, really, really are, it meant a lot to them, this team and they didn't want to see it go, and they knew what the stakes were, which is why I'm that much more proud of them. Final question? Stumped you guys. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.